Okay, I'm on the second floor. 3221, as you can see, very clean. There's that one crooked. This entire area. As you can clean, as you can see, it was just cleaned. It looks like it buffed, whatever you want to call that. So they cleaned this area very well. As you can see, I'm on the second floor now. Almost the entire upper level of the entire apartment complex. Keep in mind, I asked him numerous times, over and over, to keep my area clean. I don't know. So here we go. Still going completely clean. Why is it just me? Can you really honestly not like someone that much to just blatantly just because you're a big corporate name just to paint someone out to be a bad person because you feel the need to retaliate against them. That's what this world comes to. What this world has came to, we got people starving in Syria, but corporate power and whatever you want to call it, uh, just, I don't know, I call it evil. You know, there's too much going on in the world to try to retaliate against a guy that's just trying to make it, survive in this world, you know? So that's the entire second floor, almost the entire second floor. Completely clean, as you can see. I'm walking the area. If I was a betting man, I would say that my area is the only area that is not clean, but you never know. It might be proven wrong right here. So here we go. Yeah, wow. Completely clean, just clean. Absolutely nothing. Spotless. In a dark area too, how they explained to me that it was not their fault because it was Judy's words that, that they clean a lot, but my area is dark. And so she can't help it that they keep coming. And I believe her response was to that if, you know, if that wasn't a reasonable enough explanation that I should go ahead and find a house and do that because that would be the best thing or find somewhere else to live so here we go that's what I got entire second floor absolutely nothing you know Here's a completely, completely, completely dark area, you know, and I, uh, I see nothing. Sorry if I seem a little bit out of breath. I guess I need to work out. Let me see. Uh, here we go. That would be fine if that was me. There's absolutely no bugs or not even a wad of paper on the floor. Nothing. They moved me into a back corner to isolate me. That's what I was told. Isolate me, but I won't clean up anything, I guess. It's easier for them. I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can make it to this third floor. I'm a little bit out of breath. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Oops. 
Okay, I'm going on the third floor. <sighs> okay. We got 3401. Trash. Shaded area in the corner. Sort of, like mine. So. Walking on the third floor. <sighs> See a bike. That's about it. Absolutely nothing. Spotless, everybody. Haven't seen a bean ass on the door either. Oh, what was Judy's response now? She asked me that I should take the bean ass off myself, that I'm a man, that I should do that. I'm sorry, but if I'm paying 1063 a month in a place like this, I mean, maintenance supposed to be included, from my understanding from the lease, you know, I'm pretty sure it covers yellow jacket nest. So here we go. Absolutely see nothing. Almost cleared the in all three floors. There you go. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And all these videos were taken on the day, what is today, September 22nd, 23rd, on the day that I sent Judy the email about the crookeds. This video was taken. So there we go. <sighs> you decide for yourself what's going on. You decide. Okay. Elevator number four. There's thirty-four twenty-five.